Life history research is an important and interesting type of research in social sciences. What is life history research? Why do we need to conduct life history research? And what is the general process of life history research? These are the questions that we will briefly respond to in this presentation. Let us begin with the definition of life history research. Life history research basically is an important and interesting type of qualitative narrative form of research in social sciences. This research has its background in sociological and anthropological studies and the beginning of these, the, the origin of this type of research has been traced back to the early 20th century um, when sociologists, sociologists and anthropologists started taking interest in studying the lives of individuals and groups in order to have insights into especially into the lives of marginalized groups in certain cultures. So as the very name suggests, this type of research is aimed at exploring and analyzing people's lives as a whole or substantial part of people's lives in terms of how they have unfolded over time. So although the origin is in sociology and anthropology, uh, life history research has uh, the, the, for, the, the scope of life history research has now included other uh, fields of social science research including education and psychology and health sciences uh, beside others. The aim of um, life history research also include exploration and analysis of the impact of a multitude of socio-economic, political, and ideological changes on, um, on individuals' lives. Why do we need to conduct uh, historic um, life history research? Or in other words, what is the rationale for life history research or why is it significant or important to conduct life history research studies. So generally they are useful in getting insights into the socio-economic and political um, evolution in or maybe revolution, so changes in people's lives that are deemed significant in order to have insights into broader socio-economic and um, institutional structures. Then, uh, this, these studies are also important because these studies help us understand the lives of uh, important individuals or groups, or significant individuals or groups, um, such as the individuals such as change leaders, uh, marginalized groups or victims uh, of socio-economic structures, then um, delinquents or immigrants to give some examples of the kind of groups or individuals uh, that could be studied uh, through life history research. The other reason for conducting life history research um, which uh, and which makes these type of research studies important is that they're helpful in giving us in in-depth contextual understanding and helps in the contextual analysis of complex social or socio-economic phenomena that revolve around people's lives in the society. So. Generally, there are certain types of questions that that one can ask in and that life history research can respond to. So the researchers generally ask questions from the participants or the individuals who become become part of the life history research. And these include questions such as, <clears throat> could you tell me the story of your life? Now this is a very broad question, 
but generally this is this uh, we can consider this as a main research question uh, that could be included in the life history research studies uh, this question could be further divided into like certain aspects of the lives of of people um, so for example questions related to particular aspects of lives or particular periods of of crucial periods of life um, similarly the other questions such as what do you consider as significant milestones in your life so life history researches could also be conducted in order to have insights into the significant important milestones of individuals or, or group lives what have been some of the most difficult decisions um, you had to make during your career could you elaborate some of the obst obstacles you faced in playing your role as a for example as a change leader in the society as a professional as a politician as a doctor or as a member of a marginalized group in the society and so on what what situations or incidents do you consider as turning points in your life and what factors have been most instrumental in shaping your life in the way it is so as you can see that these questions are open ended questions they they are exploratory in nature and they are inviting the participants to give detailed uh, responses in order uh, for the uh, to help the researcher getting insights <clears throat> uh, in depth insights into the in, into the lives and into the factors that impact the lives of the individuals or the the groups or the participants that they have been, that they have recruited in in their studies now the general process of life history uh, research um, actually consists of some of these very broad steps so generally the researcher needs to select an area or topic of interest um, and these areas or topic of interest are generally of socio economic and or socio cultural value uh, to the researcher or to the research process the development of the research questions and objectives so obviously the researcher needs to develop certain research questions and they need to have certain objectives in the light of which they will collect data from the individuals the selection of an access to individuals or groups of uh, or groups for data collection so in other words um, we can compare this to the process of sampling so the life history researcher need researchers need to select a sample an individual or a group of individual individuals in order to get data in response to their questions then collection of data generally in life history research studies um, interviews are the main uh, data collection instruments but there could be use of observations observing the lives of the participants could be an important and um, an interesting way of collecting data documents and artifacts analysis such as maybe the diaries or the journals or um, or other documentary uh, kind of uh, materials related to the participants lives could be could be analyzed so but the the the, the most important and and useful tool generally is the in depth interview but there are these other uh, data collection tools that could be used in the life history studies then the data analysis is generally thematic in nature and or content analysis is used in order to analyze the uh, the contents that or the data that we get through interviews or observations or document analysis 
And then on the basis of these, there is a, um, there is, there is a kind of analysis, contextual analysis, that leads to conclusion, conclusion in a final report writing. So, um, generally, we, uh, there are certain, uh, these are some of the uh, suggested readings that, that can further uh, enhance your understanding related to this very interesting topic. So, to summarize, life history research studies are basically aimed at in-depth exploration of individuals or group uh, lives in the light of certain research questions and objectives that, that the researchers have developed. And these in-depth um, studies helped in locating and identifying important and significant aspects of people's lives. And ultimately, although generalization or theory making, theory development is not the aim of life history researches, but they can give insights into, um, uh, into further exploring issues that come out of our analysis of individuals' lives on a larger scale through uh, more randomized samples on quantitative level.